What do you think? That looks great. No, wait, there's a little something stuck in his teeth. <laughs> you see, Katie, dental hygiene is never more important than at Halloween. Please, <laughs> it's only once a year. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's throw caution to the wind and make candy apples. <laughs> I'll get the sweet and low. Hey, see you, Mom. I'm going out. Uh, Steve, remember, no throwing eggs at houses? Oh, come on. I'm not a kid. Okay. Who's up for egg and old man Heller's house? Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. Hey, it's Halloween. We're supposed to scare people. <laughs> down. It's me, Marty. <laughs> Spooky. Huh? I'll say. Man, so what do you want to do now? Let's go bowling. Keep your fingers out of my nose. <laughs> and this, future drivers, is another prom night ruined by the twin demons of rock and roll. Two more promising young lives reduced to blood on the asphalt. Oh. <laughs> that guy with the tailpipe sticking out of his neck. I see him in heaven all the time. At Christmas, he makes it look like a candy cane. <laughs> Good Kenny Steve. Meet me after school for behind the wheel training. All right. And no mooning the other car. <laughs> so, Steve. Now that you've got your learner's permit, want to take me to the Halloween dance? What are you looking at me for? Say yes. <laughs> S sure. We can go. On a date. Together. Great. <laughs> and I hope by then I'll stop talking like this. <laughs> go over seven, you know. <laughs> Why are you stopping? Well, there's a pedestrian. She's on the sidewalk. Dude, that dude's tailgating you. I said no mooning. I'm tired of cleaning these windows. You can go under 70, you know. But I want to beat that train to the crossing. <laughs> Steve, you still have to master a few minor skills, like stopping, but you're doing well. Really? Compared to Mario Andretti and Miss Daisy back there, you're a dream. I see no reason why you shouldn't get your license. Right. Hi, Steve. Hey. You! You. Let a peace pin on your shirt. that ruined our love in. You're the woman who ruined my life. Oh, you've met. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky, how exactly do you know Aunt Pam? It was 1969, Faber College. I put a flower in his rifle. <laughs> you still the military? No, I was laughed out because of that stupid picture. It was on every newsstand in the country. I'm a school teacher now. <laughs> I can't believe a creep like you is molding the minds of tomorrow. Well, I'm the only thing that stands between your nephew and his driver's license. Ooh, I sure don't like the way he put that. Ah. Ah. And Pam, listen, can't you be nice to him for me? Hey, I can't fake a smile. That's why I run the customer service window at the post office. <laughs> You're gonna fail driver's ed. I won't get my license. Please. <sighs> All right, I'll be nice to the Nazi. Uh, listen, I'm sorry. Maybe I was a little out of line. Oh, I see. You start kissing up, but it looks like Sonny here won't be able to drive you to the market for lottery tickets and beer, huh? <laughs> so, soldier boy, you still carrying around a rifle to compensate for your shortcomings? <laughs> Let's not lose sight of our goal, Aunt Pam. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, but the correct answer is 
I'm dead. <laughs> we have a copy of the fabulous Teen Angel home game for you. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not going to get my license. This is a disaster. Why are you smiling? Because you have a problem. And for once, I didn't cause it. <laughs> hey, way to go, man. All right. Oh. Whoa. Are you gonna help me out or not? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get you your license. I got it. What? Mr. Nisky's mad at you, but he's not mad at Angus O'Beauchamp. Who's Angus O'Beauchamp? You are. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky will never recognize you. I get the feeling you're not giving this guardian angel thing 100%. Why do you say that? Angus? Would you stop that? And get this mustache off my face. Okie dokie. I hear tell Roosevelt may run again. Lord, how exactly is this getting me my license? All right, Mr. Fancy Pants. Don't get your bowels in an uproar. Oh, I'll talk to the man upstairs. Steve, I'm sorry, I... Freaky. I know you want me to bend the rules for Steve's sake, but I simply can't do it. Even if I make big, sad puppy dog eyes? <laughs> Now, cut that out. <laughs> Look, Marty, I can't make Pam and Mr. Nitsky like each other. Human emotions are not to be trifled with. I'm sorry, but my hands are tied. But you don't have hands. It's a metaphor, okay? <laughs> my metaphorical hands are tied. Doesn't a metaphor have to have like or as in it? No, that's a simile. Then what's an onomatopoeia? That's a word that sounds like... <laughs> now, stop that! <laughs> Marty. I appreciate that you want to help Steve, but we don't dabble in the affairs of the heart. That's Cupid's department. No way. There really is a Cupid? Of course. How do you think Claudia Schiffer wound up with that uh, Copperfield fellow? <laughs> Dred's gonna go crazy about Nitsky once she gets shot with one of these. Those are really Cupid's arrows? Shh. We're not supposed to have these. I grabbed them while he was on his potty chair. <laughs> Boy, they childproof everything these days. Yeah, but this is great, man. Yeah. Let's celebrate. <laughs> I guess I blew my budget. Well, Mr. Bo Chi Min, where's your aunt? At a Joan Baez concert? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Hey, Aunt Pam, Mr. Nitsky's out here. He really wants to say hi. I do not. You lie like a Democrat sneaking through another entitlement program. <laughs> okay, you ready? Don't worry. I know everything there is to know about billiards. But that's pool. Shh. Here she comes. Aunt Pam in the side pocket. <laughs> you hit my mom. I'll have to take a mulligan. Let's go. Oh, hi, Mr. Nitsky. You're looking very handsome today. Well, yes, I switched to Vitalis from the generic brand. Well, if it isn't Richard M. Nitsky. Okay, well, don't miss this time. Don't worry. She's locked, loaded, and in my sights. My sister. Mistakes. I made a few. Don't worry. I'll get Aunt Pam. Mr. Nitsky, can anyone ever tell you you have the cutest me? Hey, I saw him first. Are you two nuts? This man is the most reactionary, loathsome, vile. Hunk a he man ever to come down the pike. What's going on here? Mr. Nitsky. How would you like to give me a driving lesson? Or me. We could drive to, let's say, the Reagan Library. I am really mad at you. No problem. Don't even think about it. <laughs> 
Mr. Bungle didn't keep his hands in 10 and 2 on the steering wheel and died in an inferno of twisted metal. supposed to be cheering. I think your movies have desensitized us to violence. <laughs> what are you gonna dance to the Halloween wear? Don't go back. Just pretend that's what you meant to say. <laughs> Steve, isn't that your mom? Oh, yeah, it is. Mom, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, honey. I brought you your lunch. Lunch was two hours ago. Oh, so it was. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky, I didn't expect to find you here. Well, it, it is the driver's ed class. Well, I am the driver's ed instructor. Of course. <laughs> well, you drive me crazy. Oh. 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 Knock, knock. Steve, isn't that your aunt? Oh, I hope not. Hey, Steve. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd bring you your mail. And I even slipped in a copy of Guns and Ammo. Have you found out anything about those arrows? The bad news is there isn't an antidote. That's the good news. Just because there's bad news doesn't mean there's good news. Ladies, please, what will the children think? I think it's cool. Well, I don't care what you think. <laughs> Costume. Yeah. Who are you? Bob Marley? Oh, Jessica's going as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, and I'm the Scarecrow. Well, you're doing an excellent job. I don't see any crows in the living room. Man, quit joking around, okay? I mean, every woman in this house loves Nitsky. He could be my new dad. Ew. Or uncle. Ew. Or brother-in-law. Might I add? Ew! Well? What do you think? Meow. <laughs> Don't you think you're a little overdressed for handing out Halloween candy? No, no, I'm driving with you to the dance. Mr. Nitsky's gonna be chaperoning. <laughs> but I thought Aunt Pam was driving with me. I am. Dun, da, 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 da. Hey, I'm not gonna do that all night. <laughs> you look silly. Me? I'm not the one that spent the last two hours shoving myself into a saran wrap suit. <laughs> I do declare, we should be departing for the ball. We can't keep that nice, Mr. Nitsky, waiting. So, Jessica, you having a good time? Uh, sure. Are we picking up anyone else? <laughs> hey, I'm in love and I don't care. Nitsky's mine and I don't share. <laughs> That's what you think. He's mine. I'm gonna marry Mr. Nitsky, and we're gonna live in my plantation. Fiddle dee dee. That's what you're thinking. Oh, oh, no. Oh, hey, 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 hey. If you don't quit fighting back there, I'm gonna turn this car around, and none of you are gonna get to see Mr. Nitsky. And I mean it. <laughs> Parents. <laughs> Going, Mrs. C, Mr. B. Look, there's Mr. D. Let me guess, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. And you are. Howdy Doody? <laughs> no, I'm the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. I hope the wizard comes through with that kidney, dude. <laughs> uh, listen, Jessica. I'm sorry about the ride over here. You have family. I'm sure the same things happen to you. <laughs> my mom, my aunt, and my little sister having the hots for Mr. Nitsky? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky? You're even cuter than Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Isn't he the Secretary of State under President McKinley? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nitsky. Uh, we can't stand the suspense. You're going to have to choose one of us. Okay. I picked Judy. We well, might have thought it over for a second. <laughs> hey! Are you talking to me? You're the one made of hay. <laughs> Man, Mitsuki's falling for your mom. We gotta do something. That's not a very convincing ghost. Hey, I'm dead. 
How much more convincing can it get? Before I met you, there was only one woman in my life. America. And I had to share her with immigrants. You won't have to share me with anyone. Fighting soldiers from the sky. Fearless men who jump and die. Please don't stop. Men who mean just what they say. Uh, the brave men of the Green Beret. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky, there's a couple over there dancing closer than 18 inches apart. Dirty dancing. I have to do my duty, Judy. <laughs> Keep those overheated rabbits apart. Will you wait for me? I'd wait an eternity. I don't think it'll take that long. <laughs> Men. Like you're nothing. Katie, I think you've had enough grape juice. I'll tell you when I've had enough. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky, I know my mom really likes you, but there's something you've got to know. What's that? She needs a man who's going to commit. And it's a heavy commitment. You know, two kids, a mortgage, uh, gambling debts, <laughs> not to mention. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Well, boys. I'm a bit of a gambling man myself. And I'm about to take the biggest gamble of my life. Excuse me, son. S son? <laughs> oh, man. I let my best bud down. Now, Marty, it's not as bad as it seems. Hetty, hey, you look great. Are you on Fen Fen? Oh, Marty, Marty, Marty. You're going to lecture me now, aren't you? First, I'm going to do something I've waited 30,000 years to do. Oh. <laughs> hey, I've got legs. And I know how to use them. Hello, remember me? Uh, sorry. Now, Marty, when you used those arrows, you went too far. No one should meddle with the affairs of the heart. Look, I get the picture. I screwed up Royal. Can't you forgive me on Halloween? The holiest of nights. I just want to make sure you've learned something from all this. I have. Arrows don't make people love each other. Money does. Money? You think Jackie Kennedy married Onassis for his looks? Um, he... Uh, just promise you won't use those stupid arrows anymore. I won't. Fine. I will now reverse the spell for you. There. Cupid's power is null and void. Oh, thanks, Ed. I suppose now you're going to yell at me some more? There'll be time for that tomorrow. But tonight, we mambo. <laughs> Good news, man. The spell's broken. Your mom's not in love with Nitsky anymore. Oh, thanks, man. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Hey, I'm your pal. I couldn't let you have Nitsky walking around your house in his underwear. <laughs> <sighs> uh, attention, students. My father once said to me, real men don't cry, don't show emotion. And he'd just lost his foot to the snowblower, so he was as good as his word. <laughs> but I want to say... Judy Beauchamp, will you marry me? No. <laughs> no? But it's me, Roderick Nitsky. I know. No. Very well, then. Students, you may uh, go on with your merriment. Go ahead, make fun of me. I'm not going to make fun of you. You're not? No, I thought what you did up there was really kind of sweet. You did? Yeah. Thank you. I'm uh, glad I didn't shoot you when I had the chance. I hear that all the time now at the post office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to dance? Sure. Do you mind? No. I think it's groovy. 
Hey, yeah. Looks like you're gonna get your license. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You abandoned me so you can dance with yourself? Uh, I'm sorry, Jessica. If I only had a brain. <laughs> you're cute. Hey, you wanna dance? Sure. Toto too? Toto too. <laughs> Hey, shortcake. Want to cut a rug with the fonts? Hey. <laughs> hey, Whiskers. Care to dance? Thanks. I'd love to. You're very light on your feet. <laughs> hey, Katie, more trick-or-treaters. You want to get that? Why I wore this costume? This is Halloween. I should be scary. <laughs> Oh, sure. Blame the guy with the magic powers. 